Hello, MWC, and welcome everyone, whether you're here in the room or watching from elsewhere around the world. My name is Danielle Royston, but you can call me DR. Last year, I came to MWC with a clear message for the telecom industry. The public cloud is coming, and it will change everything. Well, I'm back to beat the drum about the public cloud. Can you feel it? If you don't believe me, look around. The industry's most important event now has a cloud theme, CloudNet. And yesterday, a hyperscaler CEO delivered a keynote here at MWC. Our industry is changing right before our eyes. But even though I know the public cloud has come to telco, I'm still hearing from execs all the reasons why they can't start when we should be talking about all the things we can do with the public cloud. The proof points about the public cloud are everywhere. Vodafone signed a strategic partnership with Google to move all their on-premise analytical workloads to the public cloud. Last summer, AT&T sold out their network cloud business to Microsoft, who will refactor it to run natively on Azure. And of course, the news that rocked the industry the move by DISH to go all in with the public cloud with AWS. Let me be clear. If you haven't started your move, then you're already behind. It's time to get going. Telco should be the center of the tech universe, but we are not. Enterprises used to look to Telco for tech leadership. Now they don't. Worst of all, revenue is going elsewhere. As leaders, your job is to come up with great ideas and use your assets to better position your organization for success. The public cloud is a big opportunity. For those of you who embrace it, the public cloud will open up new greenfield dimensions to compete on. It's not zero sum. It's really, really big. Once you realize what you can do with the public cloud, you will have wished you started yesterday. Do you know who wishes he started yesterday? Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase. He started out thinking the public cloud was just about outsourcing. He used to think, why in the world would I move anything to AWS when I've already built up my own data center capacity and capability? But on his latest earnings call, he made it clear that he was all in. He said if he could spend $2 billion to get to the cloud tomorrow, he would do it in a second. He would do it in a heartbeat. What is it about the public cloud that causes the CEO of a nearly half a trillion dollar company to change his tune? He believes that using the public cloud is a competitive advantage. And he's right. I bet you're wondering, can Telco create a competitive advantage by using the public cloud? Totally. But you have to change the three things that are slowing you down. Your systems are outdated, built on a tech stack from the 90s. Your data is messy. Different data models and different databases spread across your Telco. And your teams don't understand how to use the public cloud. To get on track, you need to modernize your systems, cleanse your data, and hire cloud talent. Let's start with modernizing your systems. Inside a telco, there are thousands of legacy applications running on-premise loaded with technical debt. A heavily customized, heavily integrated rat's nest of crap. While modernizing legacy systems will give you the opportunity to save lots of money, that's not the main reason you move these workloads to the public cloud. It's the need for speed. So your legacy systems hamstring you, and getting a new idea to market takes five times as long as it should. It's time to change that. You need to be nimble and responsive to win in your market. You need cloud-based systems that allow you to use all the greatness of the public cloud, the compute, scale, and software seamlessly. You need systems that give you the power to add a new database or AI capability to a legacy system quickly. 
You need systems that are flexible. You can integrate to whatever you want and customize it easily. And you need systems that are open so you can change them without needing expensive CRs or consultants. Your current systems can't do any of that. But new modern systems built with cloud-first principles that are fast, flexible, open, and easy to use are coming to Telco, and you need to go buy them. The second thing you need to do is cleanse your data. One of the most valuable assets inside of Telco is the petabytes of data you have about how subscribers use the network. It's hard to extract the signal from the noise to get the insights that can drive revenue growth. It's a mess. You're going to need to tackle the difficult task of cleansing your data to make the decisions that matter. And you can do that by moving your data to cloud databases and using the world's best data tools to drive a more personalized experience for your customers. I'm talking about AI, machine learning, and analytics. You need to be able to extract personalized insights in seconds, not days, and put them into action the moment they are needed. But you can't do that until you cleanse your data. So clean it up. And last but not least, you need to acquire cloud talent. To start using the public cloud, you don't need to turn your telco into a techco but you need to start hiring and upskilling your people on how to design applications using cloud-first principles. And you need to modernize your HR programs to attract top talent. Cloud is the most in-demand technical skill in the job market today, and you're competing for talent against the best tech companies in the world. You need leaders that set aggressive goals for moving the organization to the cloud. And you need software developers that can build applications in hours that are auto-scaling, self-healing, low as TCO, and use the right cloud service for the job. Your talent is the heart of your company and will set the tempo of change. Hiring and upskilling your team for cloud skills is not impossible, but it will take time. So get going and start to build that muscle. Once you do these three things, you'll be set up to unlock a competitive advantage for your telco and put you in position to technically leverage your biggest asset, your network. You will be able to turn network events into moments of excitement for the customer. Use your technical advantage to drive higher NPS. For example, let's talk about super apps. No other industry has the assets in the super app better than telco. Telcos own the network. You own the relationship with the subscriber. But your terrible MPS is stopping you. Global tech leaders like Amazon, Netflix, and Apple have customer loyalty that is through the roof. They understand that without customer love, you cannot expand your ARPU footprint. They don't have the leverage to force their customers to use the next generation like telco does. The tech companies put customer love at the center of their business models. They focus relentlessly on their customers. They provide great experience after great experience, and their revenue continues to grow and grow. They do it because that's how you support a growing, demanding customer ARPU. Amazon started with books, and now they sell you everything, including data centers. Uber Eats can only exist if Uber Rideshare is awesome. The customer experience offered by Apple is world class, so people line up to buy their products. These brands can expand because all the customer experiences are great. Can you see the pattern? Can you feel it? These guys can expand their ARPU because they have high MPS. But Telco, you aren't even close. You have to drive MPS up so you can expand ARPU. If telcos use the next 10 years to adopt the public cloud, change their culture, and fix their NPS, they will be the future of the digital consumer. The telcos that make that transition have the most exciting decade in front of them. As acting CEO of telco software company Tatogi, this is our focus. 
We are creating the modern software for telco that is making the move to the public cloud a reality. We know that telcos need to get high MPS scores so they are invited to compete in 10 times larger ARPUs. This is doable when you embrace the public cloud and change your culture to focus on customer love. You have to give up the security blanket of the network. But you can't do it until you've modernized your legacy applications. You can't do it until you've cleansed your data. And you can't do it until you've hired cloud talent. This is a massive opportunity, but you have to start in a real way. The best day to start was yesterday, but the second best day to start is today. The public cloud is now. It's time to get going. Thank you.